Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogfer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing. And today, we're going to be unboxing the Vault Me 10K Power Bank. Right here. This thing right here, they sent me something, an email, and asking me would I want to take a look at it. I bought it the same day because it was on sale. Right now, it was going for twenty seven ninety nine. When I got it, it was on sale for like, I think like twenty dollars in that range. So this is a ten k power bank, um, and we will get into the um, specs. But then, because I bought that, they send me this to vault me sixty five watt wall adapter fast charger. So this one right here will cost you um, thirty one ninety nine. But it's a 65 watt. So a plug in charger. So you plug this in and it's going to do the job of charging up your device. Let's get into the specs of both of these items right here. Um, sorry, birds were kind of chirping real loud, trying to figure out what's going on with them. But this right here, the power bank itself is going to cost you $27.99, which is not bad for 10K power bank. Normally, they're about $39 between the 20 to 39 dollars so that's right it falls right into the um the the price range i would say um but you can't find it i think i got this like half of that so i think i was like 20 no about 15 to 20 dollars i bought it for on sale so you have uh, um you have 22.5 watt charging you have this usb-c um, input at 18 watts input you have the output of usb-c because usb-c can take in and out at 20 watts max so it's 20 watts max charging from from your um power bank to the device you're charging now the, it has a usb a port on here and i'm guessing this usb a port is fast because the usb usb a output is 22.5 watts okay support low current charging mode as well as um low profile and um it has 10,000 milliamp large capacity um, volt me power bank. So it has a large capacity and you could charge up most of your major brands. Okay, slim and powerful, charge two things at once, vast compatibility. Okay, that's about it for that. So let's go ahead with this bad Billy right here. This is going for 30, $31.99, low profile as well and uh usb um usb c wall charger with this ultra slim design it has um is able to power up a macbook pro 14 um 41 percent in just 30 minutes your iphone 52 percent at 30 minutes power up your galaxy phone it says 22 ultra but we could say other thing but 73 percent in 30 minutes so it's basically good good for notebooks and tablets so that's about it 65 percent wall charge i mean 65 watt 65 watt wall charge i'm sorry guys can't talk delivers uh 3.0 so foldable design slim ultra slim so let's go ahead and get to the eagle eye view before we do that please like share and subscribe i'm gonna say that again please like share and subscribe we're almost up to a thousand subscribers so please like share subscribe and give us a thumbs up thumbs up help us get deeper into the youtube algorithm so without further ado let's go to the eagle eye view for the vault me two for one unboxing welcome to the eagle eye view today our unboxing knife will be the ungrateful dead knife Put that up so I won't hurt myself by accident. All right, guys, there we go. We got the cellophane off. So let's go ahead and let's open up this one first. Okay, this is the power bank. Okay, so we have USB-C to USB-C. And we have the books. All 
All right. This is pretty thin, guys. Pretty thin. I like this. All right, there we go. That's how it looks. We got that right there. So we have this. We have the USB-C, USB-A, and we have the power button. We see we got three dots there. And there's nothing else to see on here. So why don't we go ahead? All right, guys, we got this right here. Open this up. All right, we have this right here. Put this back in. We do have normal books and stuff. All right, okay, I like the way this is. We'll take this out. Now, this is some thick wires, guys. I like this. Got a little, got a little self tie thing there. Okay, I like that. Bought me. All right, so we got USB C to USB C. Okay, and here we go. We have this right here. Okay, small. That's small, guys. That's actually smaller than that's small. Nice low profile. I mean, if you put it in your bag, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna add too much weight, I guess. All right, guys, well, why don't we go ahead and let's get to the charging part. I'll be right back. back. We'll go ahead and, and do this one, this part first. So you see, I got this out here, right here. So we'll go ahead and put it in. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do the Pixel Pro first. So we'll plug it in. And there you go. It says charging rapidly. Okay, let's take that out. Turn this off. Do it one more time. Charge it rapidly so it does work. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the the Galaxy um, Tablet 7, S7 Tablet. So let's see how this go. Right there, it says rapid charging. Super fast charging. Okay, let's do that one more time. super fast charging that's really good so we know this works super fast charging which is good so let's get to the actual um dealing with the um power right, bank guys here we go this is how it looks i want to show you how it looks compared to other um power banks and the same price with the same type of um 10,000, 10K. So these are all three 10K. You can see this one is kind of thinner and kind of kind of smaller, thinner and thinner and smaller. Even in this one, this one is left. It's about the same height. This is a little bit taller than this. But as far as thin as you can see that this one is thinner. So it still comes in at the same um same type of thinness. So it's very, really portable. So you don't have to worry about, you know, this causing too much weight in your purse or in your bag. All right, everybody, this is the power bank. This is the HyperCore series. Um, 10,000. They have our power bank. There you go. Now, we're going to go ahead and get to the charging before I say what I need to say. Because I found something. I'm trying to understand it. So we're going to go ahead and charge it. See here. Go with this. See how it looks when it charges. Charges up. Here we go. It's charging up. All right, there you go. So now you have um this is um charging in and out. Charging out, you got the button, you got the on and off. So see that works right there. So this is how it looks. Now the thing that I found out about this that I don't truly understand, I'm trying to understand, is this right here. It says USB out is 20 watts max. And the USB A output is 22.5 watts. Now I have a problem with that, and I'm gonna ding it because of that, because they only give you USB C. That means the USB C 
um, output is the slower of the two. Who knew? So we're going to go ahead and test that theory out um, and see how it charged. So we're going to use my Google 8 Pixel Pro. We're going to go ahead and put it on. It says charging rapidly. Full in 50 minutes. Minutes. So you see that. So charging rapidly, right? Now, if I take this off and I just go ahead and put the regular joint on right here, USB A, without anything, it goes into charging. Now, when I take this out, now when I use this, and this is a fast charging, fast data. It's different than this, as you can see. Different than this. It still comes up as regular charging, right? Now, that's for the Pixel. Comes up regular charging now. But when we do it on Tab 9, and again, we're going to use the same cord. We're going to put it on. Now, it didn't even say fast charging on the Pixel, but it says fast charging on here. Let's try that one more time so you can see it. So, I don't know why they would put the faster two of the, the slower two, I'm sorry, of the wires in the box. I think they should have put whatever was the fastest charging. Now, when we put this on as well, I mean, it works. It still charges up, but I just, and it says fast charging. So both of these are fast charging, but the way the paperwork says that this port is a little bit faster than this port. So my, I'm wondering why would they put the slower port? I mean, give you the slower wire or you know see fast charging now watch this guys and i'm just doing this because i it just it was a little strange to me now you see this now without the the, the the special well without that blue wire or the fast a better wire all you get is charging so you need a, a special type of wire well not a special type of wire but you need a special type of um, cord USB this is still USB A USB C but you need one that has fast data transfer or blue so my question is why would they not give the faster cord or at least give you both of them in the box so that's my my question I mean it still works it's still wonderful but I found out to be strange right here so 22.5 watts 20 watts. So I would, I wonder why didn't they put just go ahead and put both of them, both sets of wires or cords, whatever you want to call, call connectors, inside the box. Well, it works, guys. And I'm just, I guess I'm nitpicking, but I don't know why they wouldn't um, put the faster of the cords in the box or give you both of them. Maybe it was a cost thing, trying to keep the cost down. But look, the, it works. It still works fine on everything. Um, so let's get to the regular. Um, view, give my my final thoughts. And giving this puppy, giving both of them a grade. Yo, yo, I'm back, guys, to give my final thoughts on the Volt Me Revo Evo Series Tech Fast Charger and the Volt Me Hypercore Series Power Bank. Let's get to the fa the fast charger first. This thing, I love it, guys. It's low profile, small. It doesn't doesn't weigh hardly anything even with both of them together um it charged up my Galaxy tablet my surface pro x um i turned it on now what, the thing with the surface pro x when i plugged it up into the usb port c that said it was able to receive a charge it didn't give a, a indication that it was charging until you turned it on and then you seen the battery you seen the the lightning bolt across the battery so it did it was charging it. Now, how fast? 
or how slow, don't know. But it did charge because I don't have a MacBook Pro, so I couldn't do it on a MacBook Pro. But it did charge up my Surface Pro X. So I like this. This gets an A from me. It charged up everything I had. It gets an A from me. Okay. The um the GAN Tech Fast Charger gets an A from your boy. Okay. And we're gonna put this aside. To the Hypercore series power bank. I do like this guys. Okay. It charged up everything. It didn't um get hot. It got a little bit warm when um you know, receiving a charge and giving a charge. It got a little bit warm, but all power banks do, but it was enough to explode or worry about burning out your house. Um, it charged up everything I threw at it from my Pixel 8 Pro to my um, to my um, Ga uh, Galaxy 24 Ultra, um, Samsung to my tablet, to my Samsung tablet, both tablets that I have, uh, not the Surface Pro, um, the X Pro, Pro X, but everything else, it charged up well. The only thing I have issue is with that. The, um, I don't know why they didn't give you the USB A to USB C um, in the box, the cord in the box. Now, this is my own personal cord. Well, the only cord that comes in the box is the USB C to USB C. Now, my thing is this if the USB A port to me, and I, this is only to me, and I could be nitpicking. The USB um, A to C is faster. I ought to put that in the box. Whatever is going to be faster to get the charge to your um, device, I would have put that in the box. It's good. It doesn't have that much weight. Um, but I was just kind of taken back how, you know, the USB A port was faster than the USB C port. And normally USB C port is faster than A port. So uh, who knew? So guys, um, both of these products are really good. They'll be in the description below. Um, both of them are when the B uh, B plus for the the power bank and the A for the um, tech fast charger. Both of them low profile. You can't lose with either one. Guys, I want to thank y'all for rocking out with your boy on another unboxing video. Do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're almost to a 1,000 subscribers, guys. So I want to thank my new and current, current and new subscribers for keep on rocking with your boy. Please like, share, give us a thumbs up because thumbs up really help us get deeper into the YouTube algorithm. So please give us a thumbs up. Yet again, this is your boy, Z. Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Ted, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing. Guys, forgot, you know, this one right here, this one is 39, I mean, thirty one ninety nine, And right now, the Volt Me Hypercore Series Power Bank is going for nineteen ninety nine. So, guys, do me a favor and go ahead and pick up one, both from a good products. And guess what, guys? We, uh, we got, I got some more unboxing coming soon. So, please hit the notification um, notification bell icon so you can be notified anytime we drop a new video you have a good day see you soon peace